destroyer, like any commercial vessel, will be at the mercy of the elements. So it's vital that her hull is as strong as possible. For her build team, this means making sure that every single joint is flawless. When you weld block joints like this, it, it looks something like this here. When you're finished, it will look something like this. This is the weld. To join the hull, the team must complete the mammoth three and a half miles of welding. So to speed things up, they're using a special welding robot. For setting it up, you put a rail with magnets on the ship side with a small toothed uh, rail, and then the welding machine can travel upwards by itself. This machine melts welding wire into the gap between two sheets of steel, creating a rock-solid join. That's pretty smart. Once underway, the robot can complete a weld in less than half the time of a human. It does reduce the amount of time they weld on these flat vertical surfaces. Next, the pressure is on for the tanker's paint team. It looks fine. Yeah. Apart from the smoke and the smell, then it's fine. But that's normal by welding. It's a good job, job well done. 